What I have in my hands is a fake Monet mouthpiece. Let's talk about it. This fake Monet mouthpiece came straight out of China from a seller on AliExpress with the listing of B-flat trumpet mouthpiece 7C5C3C size pro silver slash gold plated copper musical brass instruments trumpet accessories. This mouthpiece has six incredible different colors such as brass 3C, silver 5C, brass 5C, brass 3C, silver 3C, silver 7C. The specs of this mouthpiece is boasting an origin, CN origin, hmm. What I got was a brass 3C color. With my custom laser, it looks like engraving. This Monet fake is a copy of my Monet B6LD Unity in looks, but it is supposed to be a 3C in cup design. So, with that out of the way, let's get into the unboxing. So, here we are with the unboxing. Um, I'm just doing a voiceover. So, uh, cutting open the box, um, this is a bit uh, different packaging from the actual genuine Monet, um, which just came in a uh, FedEx uh, packaging. So, opening up the box here, we are greeted with a bubble wrap delight. Uh, you could say and uh, opening it up here we have um, just a whole bunch of bubble wrap nothing else in the box um, cutting it all open and unearthing the fake monet for the first time um, we are greeted with a black box uh, nothing else inside the packaging it's all so Let's unearth this. Okay, so opening it up here, we are greeted with a plastic bag with the mouthpiece inside of it. And get a close up there. There is the box, nothing else inside of it, no paperwork like the genuine Monet. Opening up the bag for the first time and let's check it out so get it close up here to the camera there is the unity b6ld engraving there looks like it is laser etched it does not look uh like actually lathe engraved there is the monet logo right there so getting a closer look here at the shank um, one thing that I did want to point out is uh, Monet actually makes their shanks a bit shorter than traditional, uh, let's say, Bach mouthpieces. Um, also, one thing to notice is sort of the um, shank design. It's more of a uh, Prana uh, residence model uh, with sort of that end. Um, here is a closer look at the cups compared to a Bach 3C, um, a genuine Bach 3C. And then here, let's just get a closer uh, look at the mouthpiece itself with the engravings. There's the Unity B6LD engraving. Um, again, it's probably laser etched. It does not look um, actually lathe engraved um, like what you'll see here in a couple of seconds. Uh, there is the Monet logo. Uh, and one thing to note is the Monet logo is definitely a lot smaller. Um, but yeah, there's the engravings there compared to the original. And then here is just the box. Um, I got the, um, I didn't get the purple and gold box, um, the real Unity box. I got a uh, Prana box, but there it is compared to the black Chinese box. So there is the unboxing of the fake Monet Unity. Um, so one of the things that, um, I wanted to bring up is um, obviously these two are different cup designs. Um, the actual Unity B6LD is a uh, is actually considered a deep lead mouthpiece, so it does have um, a shallower cup depth 
Um, and therefore it would be completely different um, tonality wise and feeling wise on the lips with the deeper cup um, of the uh, 3C. Also, in theory, if I was going to play test these, uh, I would use a uh, Vincent Bach 3C, um, but I actually don't have it right now. Um, I should probably always keep it on me, um, but I don't have it right now. So um, I won't be doing a play test in this video, but I might be doing another play test um, once I have all the all the stuff. So here's a closer look of the mouthpieces inside actual mouthpiece receivers. Uh, with the Monet logo there, and then here's the actual Unity stamp. Um, there we go. And then here's just a closer look at them both side by side. So there's the Monet logo. Again, the Monet logo is a bit small in the fake one. And then the Unity logo. Um, different fonts, by the way. Um, and uh, yeah, there you go. Um, th there is some um, still photos. Um, so I just wanted to um, say a couple of things before I wrap up this video. Um, I got this mouthpiece um, so you don't have to, so you don't have to wonder how good or bad it is. Um, and my final conclusions and thoughts are, it's definitely not Monet quality at all uh, with the um, metals that's being used. Also, it's claimed to be gold plated, but it also says brass. So it's most likely just brass. Um, it's not actually plated. Um, I also, also you don't get all of the um, sort of personalized um, designs um, or all the different options that you can choose from uh, on Monet's website, like the um, like the rim design, the cup size, uh, the cup depth, uh, whether it's a lead or lead mouthpiece for jazz or maybe you want a classical mouthpiece um you just don't get the monet experience um it's 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 exactly what you expect it's 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 like getting fake airpods um but they're like ten dollar version ones with and they're just huge and they're just not what it would like the real ones um you also don't get the um, sort of the big advertisement for Monet mouthpieces, um, which is the cost, constant pitch center. Um, and you also just, again, don't get that Monet feeling when you purchase this. Um, one of the biggest um, experiences for me um, actually ordering my own uh, Monet mouthpiece was actually calling in and I believe, I think I talked to Dave Monet, um, the actual like founder and owner of uh, Monet. And so, yeah, I just think the experience and you get, you can email them um, if you have any questions um, on, you know, what is the right mouthpiece for you. Um, yeah. Um, if you guys did like this video, uh, please let me know. Um, I actually am recording this on my old 2012. There's me editing it. Um, I did uh, edit this in iMovie uh, on this very old and slow MacBook. So it was fun to do. Um, and I only made it in like two hours maybe. <laughs> and it's like three o'clock in the morning. Um, so yeah, I got a lot of things going in my head right now. I don't, I don't know whether I'm tired or I got like an adrenaline rush, but yeah, here it is. Um, the fake mouthpiece review. Um, yeah, leave a like. Let me know if you guys like this sort of trumpet content down in the comments below. Uh, that would really help me. Go check out my other two trumpet videos, my um, uh, Harrelson Val Cat review um yeah and then also go check out what is inside my trumpet case uh i filmed that today um before going over to my dad's house and i just thought i would have some fun with it thought i would uh make a goofy little thumbnail um uh but yeah
please like, comment, subscribe, everything um, under the sun. Uh, and if you like trumpet content, uh, food review content, um, other reviews, and random gameplay stuff, check out my channel. Um, I just started looking at the analytics of things and the numbers of things, and I think it's really cool. I would like to see that sort of grow, but I like who I, you know, the community that I have right now, so, um, which is a community of, like, five people, um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching, uh, if you watch till the end, I did this in one of my, uh, some of my earlier videos, comment, um, uh, comment lampshade, um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, see y'all next time, on the next whatever video. See you guys. Bye.